Hey everyone, today's video is going to be on five things that I hate about my CBR 600 double R. This is a 2008 and I'm gonna quickly just go do a pan around the entire bike, show you what it looks like. Obviously my bike is not stock, has many mods on it. Uh, I'm gonna do a mod overview later on, so stay tuned for that. But here is a bunch of stuff that I've written down that I don't like about my bike. And I'm going to go by stock. Obviously, I've changed things that I didn't like. But we're going to start with stock. So the number one thing I don't like about the stock bike is the mirrors. These are aftermarket. I paid about $20 for them. They look pretty nice. They have a good look to them. And they got the built-in turn signals, which I'll show you real quick. Actually, they have built-in running lights, too. And if you take a turn, you can just do that, and it turns. Honda, if you are listening, with your new CBR 600 rs for 2018 and onward, I suggest adding some turn signal uh, mirrors, similar to the ones that are featured in the CBR 1000 R. Anyway, number two. This right here, that silver subframe. I know in the graffiti edition and along with other editions of the CBR, this is black. These right here are powder coated black, but usually they're silver. And this is silver, this is silver, this is silver. And I wish that it matched the frame right here. It just looks out of place. So Honda, if you're listening, make all that black. I'm not sure if the new ones do or not, but the silver is just kind of... I don't know, it just doesn't fit well. Black would look a lot better. But I have done some things like powder coat in that and putting some carbon fiber heel plates right there, kick plates. By the way, I apologize for any wind noise. I do have a sock on this mic, but I don't know how well it's gonna work. Now, on the stock bike, they have the big fender, and I'm not even gonna mention the fender because honestly, every bike has an ugly fender. But they don't have a stock tail light up here. I think that's the mistake. I, it's really visible, you can see it no problem, and it just looks so much cleaner. And I believe the new Hondas from 2013 onward do have a tail, under, tail light underneath there, but this is more or less something I'm nitpicking about my own bike. Number four, slipper clutch. The clutch pull on this bike is, it's not terrible, but it could be a lot better. So much so that I'm almost considering replacing my clutch with a slipper one. I know if my clutch ever goes out one day that I will replace it with a slipper clutch. But that's just another thing to think about is that the slipper clutch would be an awesome addition to this bike. Would make it so much nicer. Honda, if you're listening, please add a slipper clutch. And number five and my final one is the tank fairing. In order to tank this tank off, you gotta push out these side fairings and then unscrew here, here, take the seat off, unscrew it here, and do the same thing on the other side. It's a pain in the ass to do it, and on the other CBR 1000s, it's simply just a bolt here, bolt here, done. It does look nice having the side fairing connect on the tank, but I would sacrifice a little bit of the looks for that huge amount of functionality of being able to remove the tank. I know most of you don't need to get to the tank very often, so this is really nitpicking and this is really me reaching. But for me, I go to the tank all the time with the Power Commander and other modifications. So that's it, those are the five things that I hate. I don't actually hate, but five things that I don't like about the CBR 600RR, mine particularly the 2008. So now I'm gonna talk about five things that I want the new CBR 600RRs to come out with for 2018. Besides the obvious things like a revised bodywork because this 2008 is gorgeous. And I know you guys are gonna be saying, new engine, new engine, new engine. They don't need a new engine. This engine is one of the fastest 600cc engines on the market. It would be nice to have a new engine, but that's a lot of R&D that I don't expect Honda to put into the 600cc class, which does not sell well. So first off, add an optional quick shifter. I have one installed on my bike and I love it, but I think from the factory they should give you a $500 optional quick shifter 
that you can buy. Also a gear indicator. And again, on my bike, I have added a gear indicator. Also would be pretty cool is a shift light. Another thing that'd be awesome would be some LED headlights from the factory. These are the stock headlights that I have. I just think LED would look a lot better. And the fifth and final thing would be braided brake lines from the factory. I swear to God, guys, the braided brake lines, besides the gear indicator, is my favorite modification I've done to this bike. I highly, highly, highly recommend them. They're only about $100 or $200 to do the whole entire thing. I have gal for lines, I have videos on how to do it. Such a worthwhile mod. It really transforms the brake. But yeah, guys, that is it. That is all I have for you of the top five things that I hate about my bike. I just wanna let you guys know that I absolutely love this bike though, and I wouldn't trade it for the world. This bike is so amazing. It is the sexiest bike that you can buy. I swear to God, it really is. Look at that, 10 years old almost, and it looks better than every other 600cc bike that you can buy. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, please remember to leave a like. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I make a new video every single week. Take care and bye bye.